I'm starting work on the displacer. In this engine, the displacer is going to be one that rotates. And to make it, I'm going to stack, cut, or actually I'm going to stack and glue one inch balsa and a half inch balsa. Uh, the ends will be half inch balsa, the interior pieces will be one inch balsa. They'll have uh, open chambers just to remove, reduce some of the mass of the balsa. You have the pieces cut out, um, kind of the way they're going to stack. Well, exactly the way they're going to stack. And I'll make the displacer. Just wanted to take a second to talk a little bit about, you know, my previous displacers, like in the Phoenix engine here, are all basically hollow paper displacers. Um, one of the things I'm trying to achieve a little bit here is making it so that the air cannot freely move from inside and outside the display internal portion of the displacer where the paper ones aren't rigid these guys are rigid and I'm going to seal the inside grain with a little glue like I said earlier and the reason for this is as the area inside the engine gets larger and the displacer gets larger a lot of the power would be absorbed by that air that has give inside the displacer so I'm going to try and make it so that this is somewhat less permeable to the air giving the engine perhaps a bit more power so, but basically I have uh, some watered down glue I'm just going to brush it on the inside to seal the grain for the stack gluing simply going to Here's a piece of uh, the what's going to be the shaft for the displacer. In this case, it's the 16th inch stainless steel rod. A little less thin glue. I'm just going to put that on here. Okay, the watered down glue did not end up working very well for putting the layers together. So we're just going to go with real glue for a real gluing job. The displacer is glued. Proved a little difficult to clamp, but um, not too bad. Um, I'm going to kind of go around, even things out a bit, and uh, you know, take off the glue with a razor blade. So, you know, it's pretty close to impossible to uh, drill a hole in exactly the same spot on that many pieces of wood. So it's going to be, you know, a little uneven. But uh, the other thing, it is exactly the same width as the cylinder. And we need a little room on each side so it doesn't rub. So I'm going to have to take off at least an eighth inch, maybe more on the side. Enough. Okay. Before I finish up by painting the uh, this placer, I'm just kind of testing it out, making sure it spins freely inside the chamber. 
I may yet attach a counterweight directly in the middle on the inside of the displacer. I haven't decided it yet. I'm a little close on one side, so I might do a little more sanding on the outside. I don't want it to uh, catch it once it's all together. I'll put a layer of paint on there and stuff, and it'll be a little wider. I spray painted the finished displacer. And after sanding it, of course, and stuff. And uh, basically, kind of just rotated it over a hot plate, turned a little on, too high, of course, to uh, burn the paint a little bit. Because once it's in the uh, displacer, when it gets real hot, you know, the first time you run anything like this, where I've used so many different paints and glues and stuff, they produce a lot of smoke and they gum up the engine pretty bad. So I, I'm going to try and heat things up and stuff a bit before I put it together so I don't have to pull it apart and clean it so many times. Testing out the displacer inside the uh, displacer cylinder here. I'm going to have to balance it in the center of the displacer. I didn't really plan on that ahead of time in the, in the design, but if I don't do something when it spins, this is going to wobble so wildly if the engine runs at any speed. I decided to add in a counterweight in the middle of the displacer. I was going to put it on the end, but that would still cause the engine to wobble. So I notched it out with a carving knife. In the second displacer, I'm actually going to integrate it and make this piece three layers. But for this piece, I'm just using a piece of oak with some uh, screws and nuts on it. That'll just be glued right in here. And then and we balance quite nicely. Still a hair off, but it's good enough.